So we're out here with Danny Jackson. He's won uh, the preliminary round and then made it to the semi-final round and won in. And this is his uh, reward for coming out and winning that semi-final round to uh, get to do a management buck on here on the G4 Ranch. It's time once again for the largest military outdoors organization in the country to feature one of the most unique shows in shooting sports. This is Army Buck Hunters Season 2. You better tighten it up. I ain't gonna let the Air Force tell me what to do. Confidence confronts precision. Pressure pairs with performance. That's it. The winners of each head-to-head -head matchup are awarded a hunt. The eventual national champion will receive a trophy buck hunt with all of the meat donated to Trinity Oaks, a Texas nonprofit which provides meals to needy families. The commanding officer for these operations is Lieutenant Colonel Sean Dalrymple. Each mission begins in the talk, the Tactical Operations Center, where Lieutenant Colonel Dalrymple sets the rules of engagement and the combatants get their final briefings. First round winners get a management doe hunt. Second round winners get a management buck hunt. Of course, everyone wants to win the championship and get the trophy buck hunt, just like last year's winner, Randy Gardner. His trophy access deer was a thrill of a lifetime and set the bar pretty high for this year's competitors. The man who eliminated last year's champ in the first round is now in the deer stand, ready for his management buck hunt one step closer to his own trophy hunt on the G4 Ranch. It's a good looking dude. I mean, that's, it's got the chocolate rye. Like, I know a lot of people like, but he's not, not white. He's really there and tall. He needs to grow a lot. There's a buck way out the back. And he's way the heck back there. Just gotta make sure that deer behind it is clear. Yeah. Cause you got one here and one back there. You sick man. You'll save some of that shoulder. Right but you're you're clear now it looks like. How's your back your angle? It looks good. Alright. Good job. A lot nicer shooting that suppressor in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we just uh, shot a spike for uh, Danny's um, reward for winning the semifinal round. Uh, it's a management hunt, so sometimes you know you got to do what needs to be done to continue to grow the deer population, and that's what we're doing here at G4 Ranch. Um, we were looking for you know for a good management hunt that spikes a, a, a good deal. Um, you know, to get off here you know, based on what Chris needs done, and so we're happy to oblige. You can go real far. Nope, that true ballistic ammo just dropped him right there. Another uh, management buck down for us down here. Mm. That's a perfect shot right there. Yeah. yeah really so, Chris, uh, why is this a, a perfect uh, management buck to take from the property here? Well, we just, we really, really strive to not have spikes. All right, you, you guys are, you know, growing monster trophy bucks out here. You know, I've seen them the last two years, and, and um, I know, give Danny this opportunity to, to participate and be rewarded for winning the uh, semifinal round. Coming out, you know, helping thin the herd where it needs to be thinned and helping where we can, that's, you know, that's always great. I enjoy having the opportunity to take a deer and then even, it's, everything's going to Trinity Oaks, which is even better. So it's like going to a great cause, um, and you know what, what more could you ask for, really? Force on Force Army Buck Hunters is brought to you by All Seasons Feeders, by AccuFire Technology, by The Bait Barn, by True Ballistics, and by Scent Blaster.
In our last segment, Army buck hunter Danny Jackson celebrated a semifinal win on the range with a management buck hunt. With that success, he's headed back to the lodge at the G4 Ranch to get ready for his championship round. There's always a lot going on at the G4 Lodge, especially around mealtime. Hi folks, Chuck Guthrie here with the Army Buck Hunters. I got my sous chef, Roy G. Lane. Today we're preparing a very special lunch for Army Buck Hunters. We're making a chicken and deer stew. Um, they've been out all morning filming season two of uh, Force on Force. They're gonna come in and be real hungry, so we're gonna surprise them with a special meal today. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take and put about 14 ounces of tomatoes diced into the pot. Then we're gonna take and put in our other ingredients. We have two pounds of deer steak here. We have one medium onion. Move this way. We got two celery stalks, two carrots. Then we got two pounds of chicken. And then we got three medium potatoes. Next thing we're gonna do is put in, and this is the, the, the secret right here, is a steak sauce. And it can be any steak sauce you wanna put. I like this one because it's tangy but a little bit sweet. You just put it in there with them. One cup of water. Clean all that out good and get all that wholesome goodness out of there. In here, I got a half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of uh, sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Just wanna coat it all good. Just gonna just mix all this stuff up and get all them flavors and juices moving around in there. We're gonna set it on a very low heat. Um, medium to medium low. And it's gonna simmer for about four hours. As the onions and celery and all that stuff breaking down, it's gonna make a little more juice and stuff and all them flavors are gonna start melding around in there. Here we are about four hours later. You can see it's cooked. Nice and stewy, nice and all the juices are flowing around in there. What we're gonna do now is take a little bit of this stock out of here, put it in a bowl, add a little bit of flour to it. And then mix this up. I'm using the hot stock because it gets it nice and Makes almost like a gravy out of it. Get as many of them lumps out there as you can. And then pour it all back in there. It's got to stew for about another 30, 40 minutes. Let that flour get good and thick in there. And it'll be ready to serve in about 45 minutes. All right, guys, dinner's on. All right. Chicken and deer stew. Oh, it's mighty fine looking there, Chuck. The buck hunters don't go home hungry. They eat well under the guidance of Chuck Guthrie, the first ever force on force fishing champion back in season one, nine years ago. All right, Mark, you ready for this? Hey, let's do it. Kind of a repeat of last year. We'll see who comes out ahead. I Sir, think I got you again, though. being two, uh, two of the pro staff going up against well, each other Well, the pro staff here. has to represent out here. That's All right, at ease, guys. Right. Welcome. Welcome to the semifinals of Season 2 of Army Buckhunters Force on Force National Championship. Two pro staff guys going at each other. Army versus Air Force. All right, you see who's, who the old guys are here. Show these young guys how to shoot. You did it very successfully. And the preliminary rounds, very impressed with how each one of you shot. So, gentlemen, up for grabs is all the great stuff from our sponsors here on this table. Most importantly, the Army Buck Hunters Force on Force National Championship belt buckle. You could be the second one the person to ever have that. The Shooting Diva AR-10 or 15 of your choice. Additionally, the trophy hunt at the beginning of season three of Army Buck Hunters Force on Force National Championship. How cool would that be? Cool? Awesome. Cool. Awesome. All right, let's get to the rules of engagement, gentlemen. First rule of engagement is no different. Safety, gentlemen. It's been raining out there. Maintain safety at all times. 
continue to wear your eye protection, your hearing protection, and take all directions from the range safety NCIC. We're using the crawl, walk, run method of training out there. We did the crawl phase in the preliminary rounds. We're in the semifinal. We'll move to the walk phase of this operation. We're going to test your skills a little bit more on the range out there today. We're still going to give you that great true ballistics ammo for your basic load. It's going to allow you to use that lowest standard deviation of any ammo on the market, gentlemen. You guys already know how, how essential that is. Because the way we're going to do this competition in the walk phase, you're going to start with the biggest target on your right and move all the way to your left to the smallest one and then back to your right to the biggest one, giving you 10 rounds to do that with. And finally, we'll come back here and do an AER and decide who goes on the hunt for the management buck here at the G4 Ranch. Cool? Cool. Uh -huh. All right, gentlemen, there's a little bit of strategy to this. Who goes first, who goes second? You guys have competed here before, know sometimes how important it is to decide who does that. In the preliminary rounds, we flip the coin. This round will be based on what your preliminary round scores were. Dan, you scored the highest, so it's your choice. I'll shoot first. All right, so you want to put the pressure on Mark. Yes, sir. All yes, right, sir. Give all him right. something to think about. All right, guys. So let's get to the range, move out and draw fire. Oh, oh. Oh. All right, Air Force. We'll see how you do. That's it. You're going to have to make it work hey, this time. Aim high. Aim high. Force on Force Army Buck Hunters is brought to you by Wiley X, by Mountain Mikes, by Mo Better Beef Jerky, by Camo Dust, by Cryptech, and by the G4 Ranch. This is a, an assault pack. I got this when I was a senior in college. Um, JT McClellan, Master Sergeant Mack gave it to me. And it actually probably, I actually know it came from the 75th Ranger Regiment. And um, he was a special NCO. He taught me uh, what it meant to be a good leader. He was a, a primary jump master with 3rd Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment going into Panama in 89. and. Uh, I learned a lot from him and um, you know people probably seen the show this week this is the pack that I wore on all the hunts because it's not just something that I wore in combat but I pretty much hunted with it ever since then and um, every time I take it out I always think about what I learned from him um, it's not just a memento but the people that are mentors in your life and I've had some good NCOs and it started with him it's, it's just Special to have something from that you carried through your entire military career, and, and uh, I continue to use it still today. And his leadership continues today because it flows through you and to everybody that you've had an opportunity to lead. It does, and um, you know I was a senior class when 9/11 happened, and so I didn't I didn't have an opportunity like a lot of lieutenants to go um, to, to my first unit and you know think oh what happens if we go to combat? We knew we were going to combat, and Sergeant Mack made sure that. I was ready to go because he knew I was going to an infantry unit and uh, I would take young men into combat and then uh, be charged with the same, you know, the, the responsibility to bring them back in the same condition or better than they were given to me at. And um, I tried to coach, teach and mentor through the years the way he, he taught me um, the importance, you know, that's why I probably remain very, very calm when we we're under fire in combat or I'm just doing stuff regularly now you know that's as you get to be a lieutenant colonel that that stuff gets a lot more further removed from me but but uh, you know people always ask me hi hey, you don't really look stressed out I, I learned that from him commanding officer Sean Dalrymple is now with the semi-final competitors on the range hey gentlemen welcome to the range semi-final round Two pro staff members going against each other. Whoa. 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 We're going to confirm your zero, and then we're going to shoot 10 rounds going biggest to smallest, smallest back to biggest. Any questions? No questions. No questions. All right, Dan, you're going to go first. Whoa. Whoa. All right, let's, let's go. Get it on. 11 o'clock, top of the black circle. 
10 o'clock, halfway in the black. All righty. 9 o'clock in the black. Hey, okay, take a look, Dan. You walked it in. I was walking it down. Yeah, but you're going to have to come down and come right. Because were you compensating for that? No, I was holding the same spot, man. I'll just move it right and bring it in. 11 o'clock, you're a little high. You're right on the white of the diamond, 11 o'clock. See where you're right on the, on yeah. the white of the diamond? Yeah. All right, I'll do the last three just to confirm. All righty. Lock and load your last three round magazine. You gonna make any adjustment? No adjustment. All right, lock and clear. Okay, center. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, no adjustments needed there. Does it make you nervous, Mark? Woo! Shooting the X on it. We're getting that barrel warmed up now. Are you ready, Dan? Ready. You're going to shoot the. Ready as I'm going to get. Red targets, biggest to littlest, then littlest to biggest. Copy that. Assume a good, unsupported fighting position. Engage your targets. Dead center. Good. 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 Miss. 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 Hit. 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 I gotta give Air Force a chance. You know, we'll see how. You know, the know. conditions are starting to deteriorate again. We got a little yeah. bit more rain coming back in. It's affecting things. Now I'm gonna shoot at the indoor range. Hey, you know that's what the Air Force guys do. You know. <laughs> Force on Force Army Buck Hunters is brought to you by. Bad Boy Mowers, by Hero Clean, by Grease Monkey Wipes, by Dermatone, and by Bug Band. We are in the final moments of this Final Four matchup to determine who gets to advance to next episode's national championship. Now it's Mark Lotry's turn. Eight o'clock, inch left. Same, and now you're six o'clock, about three inches low. All right, lock and clear. You gotta shoot a little tighter than that, Mr. Air Force. 6.30 low. Eight o'clock, just low. All right, lock and clear. A little better group. You're right there. It's 6.30 to 8.30 low now, just outside the diamond. There you go. All righty. We're good. All right, you good. ready? Let's do it. Well, you're good, because guess what? That's the only round you That's get. All you get. <laughs> That's all I need. One shot each in the largest to the smallest, and then smallest back to the largest. Lock and load. Assume a good, unsupported fighting position. Engage your targets. Hit. 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 Got it. Good shot. You're in. That's a hit. Hit. Good shot. Damn, son, that's some shooting right there now. Woo! I know the Air Force can shoot Air that Force. good. Air <laughs> Force. Good job, brother. That was good, bro. What do you think, Mark? Huh? I think you put yeah, the whoop on it's, me. It's close. Oh, it it's ain't close. even close. We know how this one turned cold. out. You done good, old man. Not uh, bad for Air Force you. guy. At ease, yeah, guys. At ease. At ease. Congratulations on making it back from the rain. Conditions are pretty bad out there. I mean, we got weather moving in. It's turned colder. Um, it's rained. I had to pull out the rain, write in the rain paper to keep track of your scores. It's just getting pretty miserable out there. But we're using that true ballistic ammo. So fighting those conditions, 
you know, the ammo has not been the issue. As we go to the scorecard here, Dan, you shot seven, and Mark, you shot a perfect 10. So you perfect really, 10. you really put the whooping on him out there. Hey, if I'm gonna get beat, I wanna get beat beat. I don't want it to be close, I want, you know, and I'm, I'm happy for him, I mean, he done good. So, so Mark, you'll move on to the finals to compete for the Force on Force Army Buck Hunters National Championship. Well, before we do that, you're gonna go on a management buck hunt here at the G4 Ranch. So I need you to go PCCs, PCIs. Dan, you get the honor of cleaning the weapon since you didn't move on to the, the finals. So you guys move out and draw fire. Hoof, hoof. Congrats, brother. Thanks. Our bracket is now down to two. Danny Jackson takes on Mark Lotry to see who can win it all. We crown a national champion in the next episode. We thank you for watching Army Buck Hunters.